so here we are at the back of the Vale of Rydal narrow gauge train on its way down from Devil's Bridge back to Aberystwyth. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing track. Uh, some lovely views as we came up and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the cruise back down the hill but what I'll do now is whisk you back to Aberystwyth and um, you and I can enjoy the ride up here and uh, I'll catch you later as we carry on down the hill. I had plenty of time to wait for my Vale of Rydal train after I'd got in from Shrewsbury so I thought I'd take a little walk around Aberystwyth. Lots of seaside towns have a pier along the seafront but few can boast a set of university buildings. The old college was built in 1795 by architect John Nash and actually predates the university, which was only founded in 1872. Beyond the college stands the impressive and imposing War Memorial. And standing here affords a wonderful view of the university and the bay behind it. The castle at Aberystwyth was built by Edward I of England in 1277. The railway station at Aberystwyth was greatly extended when the Great Western took over and they built this wonderful station terminus, which is now a pub, but it still retains many features. The current station is reduced to a single platform served by the original station buildings and a new station porch. I think the Vale of Rydal platforms were here at the station in BR days, but this is now a carriage shed and there's just a short walk up to the new railway buildings a little way up the line. In fact, apart from this iron shed, I think everything we see today is fairly newly built. And there's a purpose-built booking office and shop, but there's no need to wait here as I bought my tickets a little earlier. This covered area is a pleasant enough place to wait, but we haven't got long. The train is due back in at 1.30 p.m. And across the tracks, the railway is erecting a major new terminal building, which I was told will also be able to cater for events. And here's our train now. It will just have to run around and take on some more water, and then it'll be ready for its second working of the day. The line opened in 1902 and was originally used to carry timber and lead ore down from the Vale of Rydal to either be transshipped onto sea vessels or out via the main lines. However, when it opened in 1902, lead mining was already in decline and so right from the get-go it has carried tourist traffic. So let's have a quick look at the coaches. And here we have first class, which I've not paid for. But isn't that nice? Do you know much about the first class carriage? I or? don't, do tell me. So it's all done in-house uh, by Do you mind if I film you while you're talking? Yeah, that's okay? okay. I don't know everything crazily, but this is from what I've been told. And then there's the mural, which I believe is to do with the river radar. Right. So it's kind of like inspired a little bit. This is all done by Simon and Owen, which is in the wood workshop, and okay. Dave. It's a lovely piece of work, isn't it? It's got that real Edwardian feel to it, sort of thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then skipping down to third class, still got glazed coaches and a modicum of upholstery. And then the gem of the lot, the open coach, where I will be residing today. Our engine today will be one of the three built by the Great Western when they took over operation of the line as part of the 1920s grouping process. When I was young and this was the only steam railway still under the ownership of British Rail, I remember them being painted in a standard BR blue and I'm probably one of the few visitors that wishes they still were. Right, before we get started, let's have a look at our route for today. We'll leave Aberystwyth on the relatively gentle line along the lower valley to our first token swap at Capel Bangor. And from there, the line starts to slowly climb above the river until the second token swap at Aberfrwd. Beyond Aberfrwd, we'll stare down at the dam below us and the line really becomes precipitous as we cling to the side of the now stunning Rydal Valley until we finally arrive at Devil's Bridge. The line runs for 18.9 kilometres or just 11 and three quarter miles and it will take us a full hour to complete the journey. 
and while I've been faffing about, we're already underway. We run parallel to the mainline for McCunthless for a while before it swings to the north up the coast, and we carry on inland. Right, before we hit the most stunning scenery, how about a bit of a seat tour? The coach has just airline seating, and the legroom is very tight. There's nothing supplied on the seat back, there's no tray table or anywhere to store anything apart from on the floor. The seats themselves have a very plain brown moquette, indeed if it is a moquette, and there is a distinct lack of padding or back support. Nevertheless, one lucky passenger on each row will get to use the armrest. There's no curtains or blinds available at the window because actually there are no windows. But this does make for quite a light and airy feel to the carriage, although some might describe it cold and drafty. In a neat design innovation, nobody has to sit on a rear-facing seat, unless I suppose they really want to. And finally, although the carriage was very clean, it did have a habit of collecting soot as we went along. So bear that in mind in case you're planning to wear your white trousers for this journey. I do rather like this view through the cab windows. You can see how straight this section is. This feels pretty quick, but I suppose speed is relative. And to start up, we're right up against the River Rydal. So at Capel Bangor, we have to exchange our first single line token. And also parked up here is the playfully named Thunderbird 4 engineer's vehicle. You know what, you can keep your first class coach. This is the way to travel. Oh look, I was a little harsh in my review. There are some window fittings. And now it feels like we are putting a bit of distance between us and the riverbed. And the views are getting even better. And it seems like here we have to take on more water for the final climb to Devil's Bridge. But hey, it's not a bad place to sit and wait, is it? Aberfrood marks the end of section two. Our footplate team have to surrender the token and collect a new one for the line to Devil's Bridge. And now we're looking down on the reservoir, we can really see the height we've gained over the riverbed. So let's just sit back now and enjoy this last section together.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as me. We get about an hour at Devil's Bridge before we go back down, which gives me a chance to stretch my legs, have a closer look at the engine, and also enjoy some coffee and cake in the cafe. The weather is not getting any better, mind you. So we've just got to let the loco complete its run around and then we'll be away. Normally I just record a run in one direction, but I'm going to make an exception today because of course the views are very different going the other way. And well, this is just too much fun to stop now, isn't it? And I'm all by myself going down. The young couple didn't fancy being outside again. I can't blame them as it is very cold today, but I'm going to stay right here. Right, grab a cuppa and let's go down to Aberystwyth. really is an amazing journey. Down there, the Rydal River, or the River Rydal, and we're clanking along down the hill. Really is something. And I've got the whole coach to myself. So as we're coming back into Aberystwyth, what did this all cost me? Well, an adult return on the railway is £32, which equates to roughly €36.50. Quite a lot of money. But honestly, as you can tell from the look on my face, it's worth it. And soon we're back running alongside the main line. 
and it won't be long before we arrive in Aberystwyth. And a quick look at the station clock says we've arrived exactly on time, at a quarter past five. And if anybody was in a rush to get back to Shrewsbury, there is in fact a 5.30 train. But I have an advance ticket on the 6.30 train, and that gives me time for a couple of beers and something to eat back at the main railway station. And as that's the final working of the day, the carriages will be slowly backed into the carriage shed. I'd also now like to take the opportunity of thanking all the staff at the railway. Everyone I met was helpful, kind and very keen to provide an excellent service, which of course they did. So that's the end of our little trip on the Vale of Rydal line. Anyway, I'm here and I've uh, had another beer at the pub that's uh, at the station and the train should be coming rattling down that line in about five minutes time and it will reverse back to Shrewsbury where I shall probably just get another beer. Anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little trip and uh, if you have, well, give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel because I release a video every Friday with the odd bonus on a Monday. And uh, if you subscribe, there's less chance of you missing it. But anyway, in the meantime, from the wonderful town of Aberystwyth, it's... Uh, it's goodbye and thank you very much for watching.